Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel Animal Crossing Island Tours with me. I'm Mimi and I am dancing because I am on the island of Lambreth. This is actually, um, if you go to a dream code, it's Aussie O, but the um, island has been renamed Lambreth and this is from the 1980s movie Lambreth with David Bowie and it is pretty fun it is made with Jim Henson's puppets and with um, David Bowie he is the Goblin King who comes in and um, really tries to take this girl named Sarah's brother because she wishes that the goblins would take him away forever and ever at the first of the movie and throughout the movie um, Sarah has to go through this labyrinth and beat the clock to get her brother Toby back and so she's looking and looking for Toby and along the way she meets up with some really colorful characters that are the Muppets, the Jim Henson's Muppets throughout it and um, every song in this movie was actually written by David Bowie. He did a great job on this as being the Goblin King and of course it's that Muppet um, feel, all of the things that used to be in the 80s that made things so cool. So here we go. We're going to go for a little tour of Lambreth. So right off the bat, here is the owl that shows up on Lambreth. And he flies at the very first of it. And he hits the window. He's like the wise old owl who kind of comes into this. I love this because it's... Um, it, it just really represents the movie. And here I can actually depict some of the scenes. I had never heard of this movie. And my friend Nina, who is the creator of this island, um, asked me to do a tour of her island. And I've been meaning to for some time now. And honestly, I've been a little under the weather. And so I'm just now getting to this island. But I will promise you, if you've seen this movie, it is really worth your time. And if you haven't seen this movie... Watch this tour and then go watch the movie. It's right now. It's on several different channels. You can find it. Um, just Google um, David Bowie and or Lambrent. Then these things will pull up. So anyway, so we're going to go in here to our first house and check out and see what we can find inside. So the movie starts where she's outside in this um, park area and she's doing a play and she realizes that she's late. So she takes off running home and she's late to babysit her brother so that her stepmother and her father can go out. And she's got a real teenage attitude when she gets there and she um, basically calls on the goblins. This is Sarah right here to come and take Toby away. So this is Toby crying in his crib. He just keeps crying. So she puts on this hat, looks in the mirror and just basically says, I am tired of babysitting. I'm tired of being taken advantage of. And please goblins come and take my brother. So David Bowie becomes He's the Goblin King. He comes through these windows along with the owl flying there. And he comes in and um, basically the goblins take him away. And she, he tells her that he can give her, he's got a ball that he says, Hey, this is all your dreams come true if you want this. And she says, No, I need my brother. So he gives her so many hours to find her way through his evil labyrinth. So here she is with him. The goblins have taken Toby. Here she is. There's David Bowie right here. This is Sarah. There's the clock that represents the time. And as you can see, the clock's here. She's got to find her brother Toby and make her way through the labyrinth because she wished him gone. So here we go. And I am going to show you. This is like Toby's little nursery room where she's trying to watch him. She also has her own room where she's got different books and stuff like that, which you'll see as you go throughout um, this. So here she is. This is her little room. Here's her little desk. And this right here. In her room, there's the Lambrent. This is Muggle. He is going to be the first goblin. Well, he's not even really a goblin. He's going to be the first Muppet character that she runs into. And he actually, throughout the 
the story becomes a friend of hers and he learns what friendship is and if you'll notice on this wall I love this it says Sarah right there so she sits there she's doing this play she's reading this book and she's trying to remember all the parts and she's putting her makeup on and she's dressed up doing this play um, and that's when she got interrupted she also has this amazing dog with her that follows her around and he is a part of this um, movie as well so Anyway, this is where we're at in this movie. The, the um, Goblin King wants to marry Sarah. And he's in love with her. And so um, he wants her to marry him. And if she doesn't marry him, he's going to keep Toby. And so that's part of this as well. So here is like where he is wanting to marry her. And they he gives her all of her dreams, which is a beautiful dance. All of these things is what he's offered her in this um, round ball throughout this movie. So going up these stairs, which... By the way, the creator of this has made this so easy for me to know what's going on. So here's all the goblins up here with Sarah and the people that she runs into. I love this little guy right here. That just cracks me up. And it says, should you need us? So we're going to follow this through. And that is what happens at the end of the, of the movie. So let's see what's down here. I honestly can't remember what's all through this. I've looked at this island several times, but um, it's been a bit. So, okay, so this is the Goblin King's castle, and this is her little brother, Toby. And that's really what he looked like. And this is really David Bowie, and that's really Sarah. So the fact that she got those in and were able to make these is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Um, and part of the ones of the words she says is you have no power over me. And she's talking to the Goblin King um, at this point when she's trying to find her brother Toby. So let's go throughout this island and I'll explain to you what I remember and what I kind of know about the parts of this island. And we'll go from there. But this is just a lovely, very, very well thought out and well done design of Lambreth. So over here is when she starts to come into the Lambreth. And believe it or not, this is Muggle. And um, he is standing here actually peeing into the pond when she meets him. And he's like, oh, excuse me, excuse me, it's just you. And he goes around and he is killing fairies because apparently fairies bite. And she's like, don't don't kill that beautiful creature. Sarah's like, please don't kill the beautiful creature. And he's like, well, they bite. And she tries to help a fairy and the fairy um, bites at her. So um, anyway, she asks him, she says, please help me make my way through this labyrinth. How do I get into the labyrinth? So he helps her get into the labyrinth. She goes in, tells him goodbye. And the labyrinth closes up behind her and so she runs and she runs and she runs into these little eyes are watching her there's a long length and she runs into a little worm the worm invites her in to have dinner with her with him and she says no and she figures out at this point because she's mad she's kicking things she's frustrated she can't find her way through the labyrinth she's only got so much time to make it to find her brother toby or the king's gonna keep him so she um asks if he could help her and he tells her yes go this one way um, and so she goes into the into it, says that everything in the labyrinth is not what it seems. And so she goes in and he says as soon as she leaves, oh, I'm glad she didn't go the other way because that would have taken her straight to the king to the castle. So anyway, throughout this uh, um, adventure, she goes through this labyrinth and she runs into these guys and one's upside down from the other and they say to her you have to guess which door to go into and which one's telling the truth and which one's lying so she talks to them and then figures out that they're both lying and by figuring out that they both are telling a lie she figures out what door to go into so she goes through the door and she runs into the helping hands and the helping hands she just starts falling to the bottom and the helping hands catch her as she's going and they say to her after they catch her what way would you like to go and she says well 
I'm already going down, so I guess down. So they drop her down on the bottom and um, of this labyrinth. And so that is her next area that she goes to. And as she gets out of that area, she's walking through the labyrinth. And she comes into and runs into, let me see if I can find them. So here we are. This is the labyrinth. There's David Bowie and Sarah. The picture of them. So she's making her way all throughout this labyrinth. And she runs into these little creatures. And I'm not sure where they are on here. But she runs into these little creatures. I'll find them here in a minute. And they are hurting this monster looking thing. A really large Muppet that they'd come up with. And so she starts throwing rocks at them. And when she throws the rocks at them, um, they end up, well, they're actually using piranhas to bite this guy on the butt, <laughs> is what they're doing. And um, his name is Pluto, and she saves him, and they become partners, and her and Mug Muggle and Pluto make their way through this incredible labyrinth. Oh, here he is. Okay, so here they are. They're picking on him. They are biting him they're running around they're just crazy little goblins they have these helmets on she's hiding behind the wall and sarah throws rocks and gets them all lost and confused and she frees pluto here and he becomes her friend throughout here so him and muggle help her find the way through but Throughout this journey, David Bowie shows up and tells Muggle, the little guy she ran into at first, that if he kisses her or tries to help her, he's going to be thrown into this horrible bog of stench. And up here is the bog of stench. So Muggle doesn't care what um, he is told. And so he continues to help her and this little fox guy helps her through the labyrinth to the end of this story where she actually comes into all of these little goblins and the king and she has to stand up to the king in order to get her brother she sees her little brother climbing up and down all these stairs and he's just a baby and she's trying to get to him and um when this happens uh, David Bowie, the Goblin King, rolls a crystal ball light to her and he makes her actually end up in a ball where her dreams come true and she forgets all about her little brother. She ends up in her room living her little happy life without her little brother. Anyway, to make a long story short, she remembers her little brother, goes back and fights David Bowie off and ends up rescuing him out of the labyrinth where she saves him from the Goblin King. And she does that by saying, you have no power over me. I'm not afraid of you. And she saves little Toby. And that is, in a very short term, the gist of the labyrinth. And so you can see how incredible my friend Nina has done this island. I'm just very impressed because the the bricks, the all of the stuff on here looks like what it would look like in Labyrinth. And so to this, I just say congratulations. This was like part of the Labyrinth. Oh, she runs into a two-headed guy and he's the one who tells her things are not as they seem. He's got I don't even know what that is on his head, really. It's a weird-looking little Muppet thing that's up on his head that is actually his head. And then he's got another head. So, throughout this entire adventure, you just run into some really fun Muppet characters, some really funny comedy, and sometimes a little bit of hokiness. Um, but no matter what, this is just an incredible, incredible... Um, Island is what I can say that is just really made out to look and be 
much like what Labyrinth was. So guys, if you have not seen the movie Labyrinth, this is it. This is this is one that you will really want to take time and go and watch. If you like um, fun and mysterious things, this is this would be it. And good music too. So here's the little clocks. Look at these clocks because she's running out of time. She has to climb up. They have these cave cleaners that come out and almost wipe her in and muggle out um, it's just a really cool adventure this island is and i promise you guys i will list this dream code but i hope that you will take time to watch the movie so that you can understand how incredible this island is right now um, wow the work put in with the stones and the rocks it really is as you can see as i wander around it's like a labyrinth and she literally has to find her way to get her brother. I love how the creator has put these hedges out, the statues, everything in here is authentic to Labyrinth. So at the very end of the movie, she's back in her room, her little brother is safe, and the little goblins are all off kind of hiding that became her friends because she freed them from the Goblin King. He was mean. And, um, she tells them that she may need them some other time. And they're like, we're always here if you need us. And everybody ended up very, very happy. Um, and she felt great. And it, she grew up because she kept throwing these little fits going, that's not fair. And she realized that throughout the Labyrinth, not everything was fair. And that's how life goes. So it was it was an extremely fun movie. A very, very fun movie. So if you guys get the opportunity, please watch this. And um, I will give you this dream code. Right here is a dream code is her dream code on her map as well. And like I said, it's Ozio, but it's actually Lambrinth. And the dream code is the DA 9665140443414. Please guys, take time, come and visit this incredible island. Um, and if you guys are uh, wanting your island tour, please let me know. I'd love to give it a tour. I'm sorry I've been out and about. I actually got pretty sick just now getting my voice back and feeling much better. So um, once again, thank you for watching Animal Crossing Island Tours with me, Mimi, and thanks for touring the island Labyrinth with me. If you guys would please leave me a comment, hit that like button, and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button as well. And thanks Take care of yourselves, stay safe until next time.